Welcome back to another quick tutorial. Um, today we're talking a little bit more about Dem Earth and a little trick I found to help you um, do a better job of texturing your buildings. So uh, I built the city of San Francisco here um, and it's looking okay. I haven't spent too much time requesting updated imagery from the server. And then I added my OSM and then extruded those uh, buildings that I pulled from the uh, server and that's what gave me these objects however what you'll notice if you've used demo earth at all is a real problem with um, texturing buildings all of these look like just big smears and they don't really do anything to mimic the actual building texture and if you were exper experiment with actual google earth um, you'll notice that those textures are all in there but that's not data that you can get um, in here from demo so you got to do a little bit of work yourself so what you need to do is if you go to your smart extruder then you go under groups um, you're going to want to create I mean, you can create as many groups as you want I usually say safe bets usually about 10 and what that's going to do is create 10 different groups of polygons when you finally have made it edible and then you're going to want to create selections out of those groups so it's working here in the corner, and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to make it editable. And this is definitely a lot of computing power it takes when you start getting to a point of having a fully built city. But what you'll notice is it's broken up my city into 10 groups, which means now, and this is just kind of a quick and dirty, now I can go in, I can make new materials, and I've brought in this city building facade uh, texture. And I can just drop them on my polygon, and as you'll notice, now we've got some better looking textures. Um, same thing here, I've got this other material, drop it on here, boom, better looking texture. Let's make another one. I've got more of these images um, saved and you know even if they have like watermarks on them which some of these do have you're not going to be able to tell from um, from whatever view you're you know unless you try to dive way in close and that's not really what's powerful about this program but boom again there I've got it I'm going to create a, another material load in I'm avoiding the ones that have too low of a dimension there I want yeah, I need some more, some modernity, some modern textures here. So let's go there, maybe do it again there, and that's too much. But what I could do is I could undo it, I could duplicate this, and now I can go in here and I could change you know, the black point or something like that. Um, or I could add like a, a, a more of a turquoise color mix the two um, let's see sorry and give it more of that color and then I could add it and so that way I can reuse my pattern and now I've kind of got this other color going on it's a little bit obnoxious if you ask me so maybe a little bit darker uh, but already, you know, now that we have just those textures in there, the city's starting to look a lot better. And now you're going to need to use, obviously, you know, tricks like depth of field and, um, you know, you're going to have to render this out. This is like quick render. It doesn't necessarily give you a good view. But and you may want to have like 30 groups. You know, San Francisco is a big city, New York, L.A. You know, 10 may not be enough. But the key is these are looking much more like real buildings and you know, if I take these out of here, that's what we started with, and that's what we're finishing with. Some of these may not work, so you might have to go in and individually. The nice thing is, is now that you've created these edits, um, you can go in and select the sides of these buildings and add individual um, you know, patterns to that side, and it won't affect anything else. Um, so, anyway, it's been a quick tutorial. I hope this helps as you build more and more of your cities. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to help. Thanks.